It's a local success story that spotlights the influence one man can have on an industry. It was in 1970 that Barry LaPointe, an aircraft maintenance engineer and pilot, set up shop at the Kelowna International Airport. He opened Kelowna Flightcraft, a small business providing maintenance services for locally owned commuter aircraft. But a chance phone call in 1976 proved to be a pivotal moment for Barry's business. One of the first major contracts for Barry was with Pure Later Courier uh, back in the late 70s. He got a call in the middle of the night from somebody who looked, uh, was needing to move freight uh, in an urgent basis uh, from one location to another. And from there, we, uh, we grew a 38-year uh, contract with Pure Later Courier and Canada Post until it wrapped up last March. Over the years, the business has grown to become one of the largest airline companies in Canada, with clients that include WestJet and the Department of National Defense training over 200 pilots a year at their base in Manitoba as part of a 22-year contract with the Royal Canadian Air Force. This is the first aircraft that they're going to get to do any live flying in for the Air Force. Uh, based out of uh, Southport, Manitoba, we've got uh, 14 of these particular aircraft and a simulator. And uh, this is what you're going to get your initial wings in. The plant in Kelowna is one of three locations across Canada and is also the largest employing 600 of the approximately 1,000 employees throughout the company. We can do painting, uh, we do uh, composite work, we do structures, uh, we do all kinds of avionics work. We've got an avionics shop, we've got a machine shop. We can do a component shop, we can do almost anything the customer needs to that aircraft on site as opposed to having to send parts and that out for, uh, for work on it. So this is Mag Particle Inspection and uh, they'll, they'll basically magnetize the part. They have a penetrant uh, type product that they put on and under a black light, you'll see if there's any cracks in the, in the component. With continued expansion, the company is set to commission its fifth major hangar at the Kelowna Airport, currently working on the conversion of WestJet planes to offer Wi-Fi services, as well as regular maintenance. They'll have two to three aircraft in the hangar at any one time. It's expected that as many as 150 heavy maintenance aircraft will pass through the facility within the year. Normally you come in, you've got your seats, your carpet, you've got your overhead bins, and behind us you can see the insulation, you can see the air systems for co passenger comfort, you can see all the uh, avionic wiring, uh, and a lot of the other systems that are, are, are exposed because of the mod that we're producing on this particular airplane. There's a maintenance planning document that tells, explains to you what you're supposed to check, uh, the type of maintenance you're doing, and uh, where to check. As far as the um, life limited parts, there are some air components on an aircraft that are life limited, such as the uh, many of the landing gear components. And it's just a matter of you get so many um, in overhaul periods till you reach that, that life limit. And at that point, the gear is just retired. With a growing portfolio of services, the company recently rebranded in the hopes of creating a larger global presence. They're now known as KF Aerospace and they continue to expand, announcing new cargo operations out of Pearson International Airport in Toronto, which began at the end of May. Reporting for Go Okanagan on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.